Hey y'all, this is Church of Caboose, and today's Destiny 2 video, we are talking about the Honor Bound Quest. It's uh, tied to the whole new seal, and so we just want to show you guys some little tips and tricks to try and finish this up. Uh, the first step, you have to get 400,000 points in Nightfall and some bosses, and then uh, some of the solar kill stuff, and then you have to get a million, a million points for the second step, which is what I am on. So I thought I'd share with you guys just some tips to try and help get this particular uh, part of the step done in a little bit with the solar kills. We're mostly focusing on how do you get a million points. Now just to show you why I am working on the Vactician and I managed uh, to finish it, I thought I'd just show you guys the new title called Savior and uh, one of the things you have to do is get that badge, that associated badge, all the way completed and part of that badge includes the Vanguard Tactician for uh, Honor Guard thing that you have to get because it rewards you that emblem, the Tactician. You also have to do the Gambit, but today we're focusing on the Vanguard Tactician and how do you get a million points in Nightfall without spending a week and a butt working on it. So that's the whole point of this video. I will also try to get a video out on the Devil's Ruin as soon as I can. Hopefully that will be tomorrow on January 7th. But since I work full time at another job and I do this on the side, um, depending upon how long the Devil's Ruin quest is, I might not get it out to you all tomorrow. But look for that soon on my channel. So subscribe so that you keep up to date with absolutely everything because I try to make these guides as thorough as possible and give you all the tips and tricks. All right, so for the million points of the Vanguard, like honor bound tactician thingy, my bobber, or whatever, look on your director and go all the way over to the right. On the right side, you will have those classic nightfalls. If you pay attention to what weapons drop with what nightfall, sometimes there's gonna be nightfalls that everyone is trying to do and they're going to be trying to speed run it which means you're going to probably be able to crank out about 50,000 to 60,000 points for a nightfall out uh, like contributing towards your total of a million in about 10 to 12 minutes that is huge i took advantage of the mindbenders ambition farm this week from howard's howard the howled lair so make sure you guys are looking over at that far right it's called just called nightfalls there's no little like powerful reward symbol with it it's just called nightfalls and just look and see which ones are available and then look up and see what weapons are being offered also if you look through lfg on xbox or your council or any other fire team thing you'll probably end up seeing lots of posts um that would indicate one of those nightfalls has a desired weapon that people are trying to farm for, which means you're in a good week. Now, if you're in a bad week for those nightfalls, your other best option would be obviously to do 100K nightfalls. If you're able to do 100K nightfall and you happen to have a group that can do it relatively easily, consistently, and quickly, then you'd be able to knock out that whole million points in 10 total runs. But since that does not apply to everybody, now, including yours truly, I tried doing that 100k nightfall thing. Um, it took us like a half hour to do one of them. I was struggling to find people that were at appropriate power and folks that actually understood what it was needed to complete one of these nightfalls. So if you're in that kind of a group, this is what I would suggest you do. Make sure you find that 920 nightfall the 920 because you get a higher multiplier of 1.2 score and you have matchmaking. Matchmaking will be nifty. It can also be a double-edged sword, but matchmaking can be nifty because you don't have to have a fire team. You can just load on in and depending upon the skill of the people you get paired with, I was able to get 98,000 one of my 920 runs, which is really close to 100K without putting in all the time, the effort and frustration of finding a fire team, getting through a 9 uh 70 980 nightfall and it's just a little little less uh frustrating a little more gratifying again though if you have the fire team capabilities it's totally more worthwhile to do one of those 970 980 nightfalls the legend or master nightfalls because you get all these different powerful rewards pinnacles and some other resources to help with master working armor that you do not get from the nine 20 but if you don't have those wonderful fire teams 920 is the way to go now why is 920 significant well besides the matchmaking i found i could consistently score about 60,000 points 
as opposed to the 720. If you do the 720 Nightfall like I tried to test it out, I was consistently getting around 30,000 points. So your two best options for your million points of the Vanguard is to run a 970 if you have the fire team. Otherwise, do a 920 and you should knock out the, the points rather quickly. Just make sure you're paying attention to the modifiers because you need to make sure you have on your artifacts things like unstoppable and barrier mods applied to the weapons that they can be applied to. And if you pay attention to your burns, that can help make your life easier. Now, just a little tidbit on the solar kills. One of the reasons you would like to do the older Nightfalls is because you can set up a card called Five of Swords from Xur. So if you have one of those cards, you can put it up to have solar burn. And then using a solar weapon while you're doing the Nightfall lets you do kind of a two-for-one deal. If you are doing the solar weapon at the same time as the Nightfall, I would highly suggest you consider using the Sunshot Hand Cannon. It does explosive rounds. If you kill one dude, that dude blows up. And so you have decent odds of killing multiple adds with one ad being killed. And it'll still count towards your adds or towards your number of enemies killed with a solar weapon and so the sunshot works out pretty beautifully but really any solar weapon will do i just found it less frustrating to be speed running with using the sunshot because i was getting more kills than when i was using something that wasn't the sunshot some other options would be taraba but that's a raid for rng exotic from the crown of sorrow raid so there's a decent chance you don't have it you can also use like luna's howl outlast is a solar pulse rifle that comes from the wrecking and Gambit Prime, so that would be another decent option as well. But I highly recommend Sunshot if you have it. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. I really hope that this video helped you guys out and made the million points seem less daunting. The doing this is mostly for the like, you know bragging rights, but I'm mostly doing this whole deal because of the the title. I really I love Saint 14. I love Titans. I'm like you know what I really want to get this title done. And if it's like Season of the Undying, which I'm like 99% sure it is. A lot of these quests and stuff will go away, which means once the Season of the Dawn is gone, then you cannot get the Savior title anymore. So I will I'll be coming out with a video about the Gambit uh, version of the emblem, then the, that whole grind, if there is applicable, like, hey, this will help you guys out. But we will, we will find out, and if so, I will put a video out on that once I finish the Gambit part. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know down below if this was helpful, if anyone was kind of like, duh, church, that was pretty obvious what you should be doing. Or if you're like, yeah, wow, thanks, I didn't think about that. Just let me know. That It gives me great uh, encouragement to give you guys the content you want when you get feedback about what's useful, what's not useful, and what you would like to see in the future. I am Church of Caboose. Have a great week, and happy grinding, y'all.